This is Will with Grimspeed and today we're going to be talking about the internal wastegate bracket install. Now we're going to take a look at what comes in the box. Of course our mailing card, personally signed, our sticker, and our bracket. Now this bracket that we have here is specifically for a VF series turbo. So some brackets may look a little different. Now the tools may vary depending on your turbo, but for IHI turbos such as the VF39 like you're going to see today, you will need an 8mm socket, a socket wrench, an 8mm wrench, two 13mm wrenches, and a flathead screwdriver. The tools needed for Mitsubishi turbos such as the TD04 are a 12mm socket, a socket wrench, a 12mm wrench, and a flathead screwdriver. Now depending on how your wastegate actuator is attached to your wastegate pivot arm, you may need a flathead screwdriver to remove the C-clip, as you will see today, or a pair of pliers to remove the cotter pin. The turbo we will be using today is an IHI VF39 off of a stock STI. Now there are four connection points we will be looking at. The first one is where the actuator arm from the wastegate attaches, and the other three are bolts that connect the wastegate bracket to the compressor housing. We're going to start off by taking a look at the C-clip that attaches the wastegate actuator. We're going to need a flathead screwdriver for this, and we're simply going to pry this off very carefully, careful not to bend it. It is pretty easy to pop off, and unfortunately sometimes they do pop off even when you least expect it in your engine bay. Good piece to check on. Next up, we're going to take our 8mm sockets and remove the top two bolts shown here. For the third bolt down low, there is a line slightly obstructing it, so you will need a simple 8mm wrench to reach it. With this final bolt removed, we can completely remove the wastegate assembly from the turbo. Now we're going to put up the internal wastegate bracket. And unique to VF39s, there is an actual hole, so we do supply a bolt with a 13mm head and nut to go through this hole. On other turbos, there is a stud that sticks up that allows you to put the C-clamp or cotter pin back in place to hold our bracket down. Now with this bolt and nut, simply hand tighten it, but make sure it's pretty snug. Just make sure everything lines up correctly. Now when you hold it up in place, you're going to notice that there is a bit of a gap between our bracket and the compressor housing. Don't be alarmed, this is a good thing because we need pressure to hold that wastegate door shut when we tighten these bolts down. Now you're going to want to just hand thread each one of these in. Don't go tightening just one all the way down. It may take a little bit of strength to keep this thing in place, but that is a good thing. If it fits completely loose, then you might not have the right bracket for your turbo. Now make sure when you're tightening these down, you're switching from bolt to bolt so you get an even pressure across the bracket. Now you're only going to want to tighten these snug because the bolts are threading into a semi-soft aluminum. Now we're going to take both of our 13mm wrenches and tighten down the nut to this bolt. Make sure that this gets much tighter than those three little bolts into the compressor housing did. And once those are tight, this is done and your internal wastegate bracket is installed. Now you're all set up for an external wastegate setup.